Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here for Telusco Learnings and welcome back to another video tutorial under jQuery and we are going through DOM manipulations so this is sort of like the part 4 in this entire tutorial series so in this video tutorial we are going to be looking at four different inbuilt jQuery methods which help us perform DOM manipulations especially towards the CSS and styling part so in the previous couple of videos we've seen different inbuilt jQuery DOM manipulation methods like append prepend after before we also saw html we saw css we saw text and what not okay so if you have missed any of the videos go check out the previous videos now let's talk about some methods which are particularly coming in for css so as you can see on the screen we have four different buttons which perform four different methods the first one is going to be add class so as the name suggest it adds one or more classes to the selected elements now what is this class so this class is nothing related to any object oriented concepts okay so don't confuse with that when we are talking about front end scripting especially html and css classes are something which we define in the style.css or separately which has some css styling so when you want to apply this in a dynamic way using jquery you can use the add class method similarly when you want to remove that class you can use the remove class and when you want to perform both depending upon what is done you can use toggle class so if a class is already applied you can remove it if it's not applied you can apply it okay and lastly we have the css method we've seen this css method in the first video and the second part also but we'll take a look at it again over here just for revision purpose but let's start off with the first add class so what i want to do is when i click on add class i want to add a particular class to this entire division which means i want to add a little bit of more styling okay so this has to be dynamic in nature only when i click on this button so let's first access the button click we'll use the dollar selector i'm going to say hash btn1 that's the id of the first button i'm going to say click inside that i'm going to say function opening and closing round brackets of the function opening and closing curly braces of the function and inside this i'm again going to access the division so division id is division 1 so just paste it over here i'm going to say add class okay now which class you want to apply is something that you have to pass in double quotes over here so let's go to the style.css in the style.css you can see i have already created three different classes the first is my divs which is already applied right you can see we already have this class applied to the first division it is not there applied to the second division so you can see there is one more new div class so let's try to apply this so the way we go about applying this is you just need to copy this class name okay without the dot you don't need the dot operator over here and just paste it over here so that's about it so let's see what the class has the class has a border radius of 10 pixel so right now you can see we have square borders right so this border radius gives it a circular look and the background color will change to aqua color so that's something that should happen when we click on add class so let's see if this works so when i click on add class there you go you can see our class has been applied the border has become curved and the background has become aqua color now similar to add class we have remove class so just copying this and pasting it and just changing the button id to btn2 and here i'm going to say remove class and removing that same class so first i'm going to add class if i click on remove class that class got removed okay makes sense pretty simple let's move ahead the next one is toggle class so just copying this again and pasting it changing the button id to btn3 here i'm going to say toggle class so when i click on toggle class if the class is applied it will be removed if it is not applied it will be applied okay let's just click on toggle class let's click it again click it again so you can see toggling is happening so one more thing that i forgot to mention is you can pass multiple classes also so in the style you can see we have one more class which is new para class so if i copy this if i hit space over here and pass it over here and if i click on add class you can see that the new para class also got applied in the new para class what we had is we had the font weight as bold and the color was brown so the paragraph which is inside this division now we've selected the division but it can be applied to pretty much any element right so it can be applied to paragraph or section or anything which has some content in it and the styling will be applied to it so this new para class is applied to this division so anything inside this division will now become bold and will now have this color so if i add one more paragraph inside this let me just copy this 
and paste it over here. Let's see this paragraph doesn't have any ID also, but still it is inside this division div one, right? So now if I add class, it gets applied to the second paragraph also because we've selected the division and not the paragraph. When I click on remove class, the new div class is removed, but we are not removing the new para class. So the color remains the same and the bold attribute also remains the same. So if I want to remove that also, I just have to hit space over here and pass that add class, remove class. So you can see it's working. Similarly, it works the same with toggle class. You can have multiple classes just by giving spaces between them and that's how it's done. So lastly, we have the CSS method. So the CSS method can be used to add one particular or few particular CSS attributes to a particular element or retrieve what exactly is the CSS styling of that particular element. So let's do that. Let's copy this. Let's paste it over here. Let's just change the ID of BTN4. BTN4 is the ID of the CSS button. Now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to say CSS and let's say you want to find out some CSS property. So this is we fetching the property. So I'm going to say alert inside that alert. I'm going to pass this entire thing and the property that we want to find out is what is the padding. Okay. So if I click on CSS, you can see the padding is 10 pixel. And if you go to the styles, you can see the padding was 10 pixel, which was added to all the divisions. So we've selected the division. So that's why we're getting the padding, right? If we go and say font size, and if I click on CSS, you'll get the 16 pixel, which is standard font size of these paragraphs, which is inside this division. Now this is when we want to fetch something. So what if you want to set something that is you want to change the font size. So I'm just going to cut this or copy this. And when you want to change the font size, you just have to pass one more parameter using the comma and you have to give, let's say 20 pixel semicolon. And when I click on CSS, you can see the size of the paragraph has increased. So this is something that we saw in the previous videos also. So let's not spend a lot of time on the CSS method. We've seen this already. And yeah, this was something which is related to DOM manipulations when it comes to classes when you want to dynamically or manually apply classes or remove classes or toggle classes. So this will help you apply some styling on demand to your HTML documents depending upon particular events. So you can also change the events. You can apply something on hover, on mouse, enter, on mouse, exit and whatnot, you know. So that can be done. Right now we're just doing it on click, but you get the point, right? You can add a lot of dynamic features, a lot of dynamic styling depending upon some events based on some inbuilt jQuery methods. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Do share it with your friends. Let me know in the comments how this video was. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.